guys what's going on it is 12 o'clock on tuesday november 20th and i just finished doing my full face of makeup normally i would be asleep right now but i'm heading to mexico i am wide awake and i'll be leaving in a couple hours to san francisco to take my flight to puerto vallarta so that's super exciting and crazy and uh it just definitely feels a little surreal right now. The reason I'm going to Mexico is like eight weeks ago, I signed up online for a vegan fitness uh, online coaching program, an eight-week challenge. Bianca Taylor, she's a really popular uh, vegan fitness model, and uh, she's a personal trainer in LA. And since I started my... Uh, fitness journey she has been a huge inspiration to me so when i saw that she was doing an online challenge i was like yes i definitely want to try that i had been wanting to try out um an online challenge for a while as well because i've never done that either so i signed up they announced a few weeks ago that they were doing a thanksgiving retreat vegan obviously so a lot of people i guess you know it would be nice to get away from not get away from their family that sounds really bad get away from the typical you know turkey based thanksgiving and go hang out with other vegans in uh sunny mexico so i was like oh my god that literally sounds like everything i honestly didn't even celebrate thanksgiving last year it's just not a holiday that like completely resonates with me i am like huge on gratitude of course but uh i don't know i just personally don't need you know a day um like thanksgiving so anyway i didn't celebrate it last year and then this year i was like that sounds like a blast and uh you know get out of my comfort zone a little bit it's definitely scary to think about going completely alone and having to meet a bunch of strangers and especially meet bianca taylor i mean it's just if i'm being honest it's a little intimidating um but anyway i'm super excited and i think it will be a really cool experience and i am also looking forward to vlogging and sharing my experiences with you so i appreciate you coming along that is all i guess to start off this vlog yeah i guess that's it uh leaving for the airport soon and uh, we'll see what this week brings bye Starbucks here? Yeah, you will, you want to get something there? Different at all around. Uh, the Hi guys! Oh my god, I made it to Mexico. I am in a little town called Sayulita, which was like 45 minutes from the airport. I'm at the resort now in my room and holy guacamole. It is so freaking beautiful. Like I literally cannot even believe I'm here right now. Oh my God, I'm so grateful and I, I can't believe I'm here. The plane ride was okay. I'm running on like two hours of sleep right now, which is a little crazy for me because I do like my sleep. <laughs> But yeah, I'm here and I'm actually a day earlier than all the other people in the retreat. So I'm kind of like here as the Lone Ranger. So I guess I'm just gonna like walk around and see what there is to see. It's getting kind of dark. So 
I don't know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm here and I'm excited. And uh, let me show you the room, it's awesome. Okay, so I think I'll show outside like tomorrow when it's a little brighter out. But um, let's see here. So this is what, well here's the front door. <laughs> and then you walk in and there's the bed. Some nice fish. This is so cute. Like, I guess you can just use this. What is it? I thought it was a towel. Oh, 180 pesos. So yeah, this is where I'll be for the next five days. I'm like loving it. I looked uh, outside here earlier. Now it's dark, but I saw little chickens earlier. So I'm excited to explore. Brought all my cruelty-free skincare goodies from home, of course. I want to mention this bag because I got it in the mail the day that I was leaving for Mexico, which was so unbelievably perfect. And it's from the brand Henry Charles, and they make these like um, higher-end handmade vegan leather cosmetic bags. And this one's a brush case, and look, it's so cool. So this is like magnetic and it just pops up. And then all my brushes are just easily stored in here. I just love it so freaking much. So easy to travel with. Thanksgiving Eve, is that a thing? Um, so it's Wednesday, the first official day of the retreat. And I think I'm like still here by myself. So I uh, haven't met anyone yet, but that's totally fine. I walked around last night in the town, which is very close to where I'm staying. And it was so cute. I feel like the best way to describe it, it just had like magical vibes. Like some places are just, I don't know, there's magic in the air, I don't know how else to really say it, but it was really sweet. I'm glad I took a little walk-see off the property here. Um, I ate a vegan pizza by myself. That was magical as well. And that was it. I came home and passed out. Then this morning, got up, had an amazing smoothie bowl, and what else? I met some ducks. There's also a freaking cute puppy walking around oh speaking of puppies there's stray dogs everywhere and I love them they're so cute thought I should mention that <laughs> uh, they just like come up to you and I guess they're looking for food but I'm looking for love so it works out what else I think that's it for now probably my last few hours alone alone so I'll check back in later bye
Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving Day. This morning we um, did a meditation bright and early at 7 a.m., which was very, very nice. And then had a beautiful breakfast. I didn't bring my phone or anything because I just wanted to like live in the moment because that is definitely hard for me sometimes. So we're off to a hike right now, which I'm super excited about. And I'm gonna bring my camera and take some video and pictures. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it is. It's probably gonna be super duper beautiful. Bye. Looks amazing. So this is my plate. We have rice, lentils. We have some veggies on top of a bean tostada. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited to be here in Mexico. Eating Looks beautiful food. so good. Yeah. Yummy. Say Are you hello. the cutest? Say hello. Oh. She's getting tired. <laughs> You're like I'm her daddy now. Yes. <laughs>
you were recording. Yeah, I was. Don't you? <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> Legit in the jungle. Oh, your camera's like this, like something on it. I know, it's a uh, something. Sweat. <laughs> which would be amazing. This has been on my bucket list of things that I've really wanted to do, so. We'll see if we see some babies. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Are you supposed to do that or not? Oh my God, it's so precious. They're just the ones. Is this the same size you saw? Yeah. This is so cool. There's some orange water over here. We're gonna check it out. It's the Orange Lagoon. <laughs> wow. And here is, uh, is square espirals. Right now you can see, well, it's easy to see just four. <laughs> it's easy to, to, to see just four. Four, but sometimes if you put attention at the rock, we saw here another line yeah. and more lines so probably with the gears was wash the the what they they right here I love you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad. Time to go home. 
Mm. I'm gonna miss this place. 